we are recording. Oh, what is up, guys? It has been, uh, it's, it's been a minute. Um, but the reason I want to make this video, right, is I guess sort of an explanation and then kind of giving you guys sort of an idea of where I want to take this channel and what I have in store um, for you guys because I actually have a, a lot of stuff. So. <laughs> Basically, why did it, like why have I not uploaded in 33 days? Okay, um, a lot's been going on. I think it comes down like it boils down to two sort of uh, primary factors, right? That that I kind of uh, 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 I don't even know what I was gonna say. I think it boils down to basically two sort of primary factors that I kind of ran into and um, you know just didn't uh, upload to YouTube, right? So the first one, right, is Actually, like, if you guys follow me on Instagram or on Twitter or on, well, I guess really that's the only sort of relevant platforms. If you guys follow me on other social media platforms, you guys will understand that I own and, you know, operate a bunch of other businesses or ventures, whatever the hell you want to call them, that require a lot of time. And especially um, with everything going on, for example, like, I, I finally found a place. I'm moving to LA in, like, a week, guys. Um... I'm buying a warehouse with a friend that we're going to be setting up shop, like creating an office. It's actually going to be looking like super, super sick. But like there's so many of these plans going on and I need to basically wrap up um, and and automate and delegate some of these some of these businesses that, that I've started. Right. Because again, like with me and kind of what I what I try to show you guys, and you know, in my videos sometimes um, and anyone like in the community or the courses, the programs is like what my mentality when I start a business is I want to get myself fired from that business as soon as possible. Like I am very very uh lazy um take that with a grain of salt like and basically how i structure business like I, I don't mind putting in a bunch of work but my ultimate goal is so i don't need to work on that business on a day-to-day -day basis doing mundane tasks um i'd rather you know have a vision uh decide where to go or where to take that business and then kind of you know uh kind of go from there which is kind of how i structure basically everything like so that's what i do for my e-com stores you know i set everything up the way i want it um i structure my ads i have people that manage my ads uh you know then you know i, I do my own content most of the time just because i'm picky on basically anything um front end but anything in the back end these mundane tasks like fulfillment order fulfillment um customer supporting all that stuff that's all outsourced like i don't i don't want to ever touch those things when I'm operating these business ventures. And then, you know, in my software, SaaS companies, whatever you would call them, like I have a customer support team. I have a manager for that customer support team. I have, you know, two developers all on call, like all the time in case there's a bug that happens. Like there's so many things that go on with all these other business ventures, guys, that it's like, I, I mean, I just, I don't want to say I didn't find the time because that's, that's the worst excuse possible, but it just wasn't, you know, the top of my priority list. And ultimately, like it, it, it kind of conflicts with what I do because like, obviously, like I love, you know, content creation and making videos is a type of that. But then this kind of, again, kind of boils into like the, the next point that I'm talking about is like, you know, when I first started YouTube, right? So like going back to my very first videos, you guys have been around like, look, oh, ooh, I almost knocked it over. You got a Red Bull right here for the OG subscribers. And when I first started YouTube, I, I kind of came in the, the, I kind of came in with the mentality that I don't, you know, I don't, I don't care what other people think. And I'm just going to make these videos and see what happens, right? And they picked up a lot of scene. Like, my first few videos have, you know, a decent amount of views. And I think that's because, you know, my personality showed um, a lot more than, you know, kind of what it has been recently. Um, and then just I, just, I was more myself, I guess. And, like, just over time, right, as my channel grew, as, you know, more and more people, you know, were commenting or giving me feedback about stuff, is, like, I tried to cater more to a, a general audience. And I became, you know, my personality was sort of, like, shoved down the drain a bit and you know I, I, I was I was really just spewing information for these videos which again like it like a lot of, like I don't mind doing that I love helping you guys but also uh, like I couldn't really incorporate my personality and that's that's why I love content is like even on Instagram like you take a photo like I incorporate my style into my photos into my editing into any of those things um and like with these YouTube videos it's like I didn't have my personality I didn't have like this this touch that I like to add to it just because I was trying to cater to you know, just an audience that, you know, people just want dropshipping information, which is cool. And I get that. Um, but just trying to find a good way to deliver that information to you guys, I think is kind of just where I was sort of getting lost or sidetracked, um, basically. So like, again, moving forward, when I do these videos, I definitely want to incorporate a little bit more of my personality. Um, some people are not gonna like that. Some people really will like that. I guess it sort of depends on you. And that's okay. Um, again, especially with branding, personal branding, um, all this kind of stuff, guys, like, Oh God, I have so many plans. How am I gonna? F how am I even gonna structure this video? Um, but yeah, guys, like, like, 
like polarizing your audience, right? Again, this is not exactly what I'm doing by just incorporating my personality into my videos a little bit more, but polarizing your audience, right? It pushes the people that, you know, are neutral or just never ever going to be interested in you or your content away, which is good. And then it brings everyone else that's, you know, somewhat interested in you or your content or your delivery and it brings them closer to you, right? So like polarizing your audience um, is something that, you know, you should be doing, uh, especially especially with personal branding, I think. Um, it kind of falls into other business industries. Um, I don't think, you know, too much in the e-commerce space and whatnot, but as like me, as a video creator and all this other stuff, like that is a personal brand. And, you know, that, that's kind of what I'm going into. Uh, that's, that's kind of my aim for this, right? It's again, bring out a little bit more personality and structuring the videos um, and just, just having more fun with the videos, a little bit laid back and just enjoying myself a little bit more. And I think that, will allow me to just create better content for you guys and still deliver super valuable information. Shoot, what else do I want to talk about? Uh, I talk about e-commerce stores, my web development company, softwares, like, and free stuff too, guys. Like I've been working on a bunch of these little free, I don't even know what you want to call them, but just free guides, I guess you could say, in the e-commerce space that you guys will be hearing about very, very soon, which I'm super excited about because um, that's what I've been working on while I was over in Bali in Japan and, you know, like launching these ring businesses and starting the ring documentary, which isn't even out yet. Like that, that, that in itself is a beast trying to edit and keep up with the actual business itself and document that it, it's a monster, but it's going to drop eventually. Now, the next thing too, again, just like why I just haven't uploaded in so long and why I've sort of been MIA on YouTube, even though very active on Twitter and Instagram, um, is just like right now in on the YouTube space, I'm categorized, right? What people categorize me is as like a, a e-commerce guru or a dropshipping guru, which the funny part is, is when I dropship now, I'm, I, I advocate and I sort of, I literally started this whole content stuff. Like I, I told people custom content from the very, very beginning, um, you know, brand your e-commerce stores. Like I was saying that like from my very first videos and now in 2019, people are finally starting to catch on. So again, like if you guys have been around for a while, like you guys should be ahead of the game. Like I've been telling people to do that for a long time time right but then again making all these videos going back to what i was just saying is like a lot of people categorize me as like an e-commerce guru or a drop shipping guru and <laughs> guru that's a weird word um and that's not what i want to be categorized on like at all if you go to my instagram profile like you wouldn't even know i make youtube videos ever or even do e-commerce for that matter of fact like um you can go to my twitter and you'll hear me talk about space and um, artificial intelligence more than e-commerce really and you know, like I just have much bigger goals with what I want to do, especially on YouTube um, and moving forward into like AI and doing this kind of like space. So for example, like when I get this warehouse with my buddy down in Irvine, um, the first person I hire is going to be someone that literally just plays around with, you know, uh, DeepMind and all this, all this other stuff um, in the AI space just to create these sort of projects that I have. Because you know, I have no idea how to code um, and everything in that sort of artificial intelligence space is, fair, is is pretty foreign to me. Like I understand certain concepts and whatnot, but I want to basically just have someone around that I can tell what to do that understands it and play around with AI. Like that's that's where I'm investing my money right now. Um, and that's for the long term. So like making drop shipping videos isn't like, it's not like a crazy passion. I do like helping people and I, I still do my e-com stores, but I want to sort of transition at least my drop shipping videos a little bit more into like actual branding videos. And then like, that doesn't just mean private label, white label, but actually talking about like how to brand your dropshipping stores and how to go about doing that. Cause again, I think in 2019, the way to win and succeed dropshipping is to have a brand, is to do custom content, is to do all this shit that I've been freaking telling you guys to do for a long time. But most people don't realize that or they don't take action on it until they see everyone else doing it. And then by that point, it gets harder to actually win in the, the industry, okay? So that's kind of what, um, I'm doing, what else am I missing? I I kind of basically touched on everything, guys, but like, again, this is just a very, very uh, like quick update video for you guys, um, you know, heading into 2019 and beyond and just kind of outlining what I want to do, how I want to kind of move forward with my videos um, and just sort of long-term goal, guys. And I know some of you guys that really keep up with me on Instagram and Twitter and stuff, like you'll, you'll see, like you'll realize like this is kind of where I've already sort of been transitioning both my Instagram and Twitter stuff towards. Um, with YouTube, YouTube is a whole thing in itself outside of these social media platforms um, that you know I'm still trying to get at. Um, so yeah, guys, that, that's, that's really just the quick update video. I don't wanna waste too much of you guys' time. Um, 
but there is uh what do i want to tell you guys yeah like free stuff guys you guys like i'll, I'll make a video um when some of these free programs drop which should be literally within the week um and you guys will like i i think a good i think a good schedule for my youtube videos is going to be uh, every other day i think would be something easily doable where i can still keep up with my other ventures and you know manage the move to la and all this other stuff that's going on i think i think that should be good but yeah guys thanks around uh, thanks for sticking around um on this update and sort of like seeing what i want to do with this channel yeah guys i'm excited to help you guys brand your drop shipping stores move more in that direction um and have a bunch of other kind of secret stuff planned that i'll be dropping um if you guys don't follow me on instagram or twitter that is sort of where you want to be i'm much more active on there but yeah guys everything as usual is linked in the description so most of the stuff you'll see is not actually available it just says coming soon um because it's not out yet but there's all those you know program guides whatever whatever you want down below guys and i'll see you guys in the next video take care and peace yeah.